Bulgaria's anti-government protests in 2020. Thousands of people have been already protesting for more than 20 days, they have go out in many Bulgarian cities to protest. The anti-government chants in the streets are, Mafia, and Resign. And other comments targeting Prime Minister Boyka Borisov, and controversial General Prosecutor, Ivan Geshev. The anti-government protests, are definitely the country's biggest in the last years. We are not happy with the corruption, we are not happy with the scams, with the fact that over 2 million Bulgarians have fled abroad, you can hear people saying in the protest. But why now? Let's think about this now. Why the government can't see the problems, and act accordingly, looking for a better long-term future for Bulgarians. It's the Bulgarian government incompetent? Or is something else? No matter how fair and responsible can the ruler be. There is something that we must know, no man rules alone. The Prime Minister's role, essentially, it's to make Bulgarian institutions accomplish their mission. Collect taxes. Create schools, hospitals, build highways, and so on. But before that, and more important to him, is to have and keep the power and stay in office. But why? Because who is in office, have control over the country funds and decide where they will go, and most importantly, who will benefit from this money. And now, when the European Union decides that nation's members will receive huge amounts of money to help them recover their economies, other political actors want to be the ones who decide where these funds will go, and eventually benefit themselves and their allies with these funds. But now the question is, why the government does not spend the funds on the well-being of the citizens? and allocate most of the funds from these billions, that the European Union in giving, to the Bulgarian families and micro-business. And the answer is the same as 100 years ago, because the whole goal of the political parties is to perpetuate themselves in power. And no political party ever wants to leave power or lose the next election. In Bulgaria, the resources have been limited, and then they are spending it mostly in trying to keep themselves in power. Then who benefits from the funds? In Bulgaria, normally will be, the oligarchs, the big corporations, and all those key political actors, that will be loyal, and have influence at the next election campaign. As you may know by now, loyalty is expensive. And have to be rewarded by the government. I'll give you three simple examples. Do you ever think about, why the government doesn't really do much for young Bulgarians? The answer's simple, but at the same time, it's a secret that they don't tell you. Young people don't vote, they don't help the government to stay in power, then why the government should spend scarce resources on them? Why help them with jobs and opportunities, if they don't get anything from the young in return? Why the Bulgarian governments, over the years, never really did much to integrate the Roma population? Because it's cheaper to pay them 50 lefts per vote each election day, than to spend resources in the long-term, well-funded real integration process. Why bother? Anyway, a vote is a vote, and will help them to stay in power. Don't you think that electronic vote is a good thing? Well, could be for you, and for many people that would like to vote, but for many reasons, they can't. But isn't a good thing for political parties, because in this way will be difficult for them, to manipulate the vote. That's why in reality, no political party wants to advance in a fair electronic vote system, that they can't easily manipulate. Fewer voters, means better chances to maintain the status quo for the party in charge. Will the government fail? That's a good question, and the time will say. But don't be naive, the protesters can't put the government down by themselves. The government can only go down, if their key supporters, the oligarchs, the big corporations, and key political actors, realize that they will have better chances of maintaining their privileges, only if they just replace the government and put new faces that continue working with, and for them. But if the Bulgarian government fail, or not, that's not really relevant, because the political and economical model in Bulgaria, will still be the same. Change it's needed, bring transparency to the government. A judiciary system that works in the way that the laws dictate. And that public policies are focused on increasing the living standards of the whole population.